As you know, I work as an indie artist and when I'm not vlogging and creating videos like this, I work as a musician running what feels like a tiny record label. For a while now, I've been asked about the gear that I use when recording and creating and so today I thought I would focus in on four pedals that create the Pyramid Park sound. Now I'm a guitarist and singer and I love talking about gear, who doesn't in the guitar world? And so I thought it'd be quite fun to take a look at some of the equipment that I use. This is not going to be an in-depth review of each item it's more an overview of each pedal that I use that helps me create the sound on my recordings. However, I will be sharing some samples, what we call stems in the recording world, where you get a glimpse of how I use that pedal and the sound that it creates on some of my songs. I do have a pedal board, but at the moment I'm rejigging my setup and so I didn't want to show you the full board. I just wanted to give you a glimpse of four pedals that have really helped create the sound that I'm making at the moment. I do use more than four pedals on my setup. While recording, we generally don't use overdrive pedals from the pedal board. We simply drive the amp. We use a Flynn amp, which is made in Scotland, a beautiful handmade amp, which I really love using. And it has great capacity for clean tone and driving through the roof. When I'm playing live, we don't always crank the amps up to 11. I simply use my overdrive pedals and I have two of those, but we won't be looking at that today. So here are four pedals that have helped create the Pyramid Park sound. I know you hear me. If you haven't heard my music, you can pretty much find it everywhere, all the streaming platforms here on YouTube, and of course, you can buy it from my shop. Just head to pyramidparkshop.com if you want physical copies. I even have vinyl. This is the Deep Six Compressor. I love this pedal because it is the foundation for all Pyramid Park sounds. I know a lot of people who use this. This is by Walrus Audio. And I love that it has four different settings on this pedal. A lot of compressors have three, but this one is perfect for me. This pedal is crisp, it has bucket loads of sustain and it has that fourth knob which helps to blend between attack and sustain. Whenever I have this on, the quality of my tone increases dramatically. And I can't believe I waited so many years before buying this compressor. I love the versatility of this pedal. It can really crank up the compression or you can have it at a very minimal level. Although I have this pedal on all the time, whether I'm playing live or in the studio, the best example of this pedal in action is probably in the song, Never Let Me Down. This was the lead single from my album, Not An Island. In the pre-chorus, you can hear one of the lines which sounds particularly compressed. Here you go. Number two is the Panther Cup by JHS Pedals. This pedal has been used a bunch of times on my songs from the Vulnerability album and the Not An Island album. It is an analog delay pedal, but here you have the tap tempo button as well, which means you can tap in the exact timing for the song. What I love about this is you can also tap in random patterns and it creates this really warped, warbly kind of sound. So much fun to play with. If you follow my music, you may recognize this sound on songs like The Voice, Born To Be Brave, Down Down, and my absolute favorite is probably on the the song Young. This pedal was used to create a screaming guitar solo which is like the saddest moment of the album and it creates this kind of really strong emotional whaley sound that is so unique to the Panther Cub. Of course I've used it a lot as a delay but we also use a lot of delays after the recording of the guitar parts. So this pedal is useful for delay parts but also for sounds and textures that you wouldn't necessarily think of putting on a project. While you can mess around with the feedback, the time, the ratio buttons and the modulation settings as well, there's also an effects loop where you can send an instrument into the pedal and then send it out while tweaking and messing around with the sounds from it. We've mic'd up a piano and then sent that through the pedal to create some crazy textures as well as obviously guitars. So here's an example in my song Young where you can hear the screaming guitar solo mainly through this pedal. Pedal number three is the Whammy pedal by Digitech. Now this beast is incredible. It's a pitch shifting modulation pedal, but I don't really use the pitch shift element of it. I'm more interested in the kind of crackly, worry, unusual sound in the octave setting. The Whammy was definitely a discovery for the Not An Island album. I hadn't used it in any previous recordings at all. And when we found it on a pedal board in the studio, we had to use it because it just seemed to bring a bit of life to a lot of the tracks. You'll hear it extensively on the Not An Island album. It is pretty much in every song, but I've used it in two specific ways. The first way is to ring out chords. So on the octave setting, it gives a perfect chorusy 
ripply kind of effect. That's really hard for me to describe to be honest. And you ring it out and it's more than a delay or a chorus effect, it just has something a little bit different. You can hear this on songs like Never Let Me Down, Stairway and Bitterness. Secondly, I've used it for solo moments. Now, not every solo because then it gets a bit much, but for specific solos that kind of need a bit more bite or energy. The best example for this is probably the song Bitterness where I pull out a bit of a solo in the turnaround. There's a couple of bends that I play with this pedal on. Pedal number four. This one may come as less of a surprise to you guys. This is the Strymon Blue Sky pedal. Now this is the pedal that I use live, but in the studio we use the Big Sky, which is the much bigger, more elaborate version. And we use the Big Sky for guitar reverb, of course, but also for synth reverb. There's an old synth that we use sometimes in the studio called the Up Quartet. And we always put that kind of paddy string sound through the Big Sky and create this wall of sound. Strymon are clearly incredible pedal creators and I love a load of their products. For this particular pedal I use the spring reverb setting probably more than any other. While in the studio recording for my second album we use the cathedral pedal a lot which is a great reverb pedal as well. This is the one that we've gone to for my latest project. Live I use a spring reverb effect all over the place for a lot of my songs but in the studio one song that particularly stands out is the song Down Down. I just love the spring reverb on that track particularly and how it just creates this amazing amazing kind of effect that kills off quite quickly. Take a listen. So, underground. so there you are, these are the four pedals that I use significantly to create that pyramid part sound. While I know this video is not an in-depth review of each of the pedals, I hope it gives you a taste of what you can do with certain pedals and sounds, even if they weren't initially created to make that specific sound. I love how you can build something on different pedals and create this amazing tone that you maybe would never have thought of using before. It's been a lot of fun and I'm sure there'll be others that are added to my armory over time. So guys, thanks so much for watching this week. I hope you found it interesting and hopefully giving you a new insight into some of the sounds that I love to create. If you haven't already, please do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. It would be awesome for you to join me on this community if you have not yet joined. And don't forget, I'm on Patreon where I share exclusive content with my Patreon subscribers, including music that's not been released yet, a load of vlogs that are specific for my Patreon crew, and a bunch more exciting things like chapters from a book that I've not yet released that I'm soon going to be sending them. Go check it out and I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Can you